Hello! What is up friends? It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. I know it's been a crazy month for me. There is a lot of things happening in my life. Some negative stuff that I was able to really flip it to the positive side and I'm really excited about what's next for me. So right now, I'm finally back on YouTube. For those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. My name is Wendy and I do videos about self-love, confidence and all things that make you feel good about yourself. So if that's something that you're interested in, please watch on, okay? So today I'm here to talk about negative self-talk. I've always been told by people that I'm a really positive person, that I'm always able to look at things from a very positive standpoint, and I'm always able to look at the negative with a different perspective and do things well. And that makes me feel good. And that also makes people around me feel good. And how do I do that? I'm going to share that with you today. I don't want this to be like super formal or educational. I mean, it's supposed to be educational, but I wanted this to be fun. I actually came up with an analogy that makes this more interesting. And that is that I want you to think of your life as a game. Okay, you are the heroine in your game and your life is the game. And all these negative self-talks that you have, they are your enemy. Okay, so in this game, you are the heroine, you, your, your goal is to use all the weapons that you have to attack all of these enemies. Okay, so the first weapon that I have for you is the perspective flipper. Whenever life gives you something shitty and you start having negative self-talk to yourself, I want you to flip the perspective in this negative self-talk. Okay, so imagine it this way. You are breaking out in your face and you feel so ugly. That monster is coming towards you and telling you that ho 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 ho, you are so ugly. You look just like me. Ho 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 ho. Your weapon, the perspective flipper, you are gonna flip it to the opposite. When the monster tells you that you are ugly and you look like a monster, the opposite is you don't look ugly and you look like an angel. You see what I'm trying to do there? I'm just gonna flip the complete, like I'm just gonna flip the negative self statement to the complete opposite. And why I do that is you have to think of it this way. This negative self talk, this monster in your life, they don't want the best for you. All these monsters, all this enemy in your life, they are always going to say mean and harsh things to put you down. They want to hurt you, they want to pull down your self-esteem, and they want you to feel bad about yourself so that you cannot move on in your life. And that's true. All these negative self-talk, they are not true. They are just there to pull yourself down. So I want you to flip whatever, whatever they say, I want you to flip it to the opposite side. I know it sounds absurd, I know it sounds crazy, and sometimes it might not be true, but that doesn't matter because we know that negative self-talk is our enemy and they are monsters and we want to fight them. Okay, so be sure to flip the negative self-talk to the opposite side. The second weapon that I have for you, it's called the fairy godmother. You know, in all Disney cartoons, there is always this fairy godmother figure or this really wise master shifu kind of person that would always come in to give the most wisest, positive, good comment to help the hero in the show grow and to help them gain the power to fight the enemy. That's what we're gonna think of. For example, you just failed an exam and you are feeling really stupid. At this time, the fairy godmother is gonna fly into your life and it's gonna sprinkle fairy dust all over the place and tell you Bibbidi bobbidi boo, it's okay. You know, life gets tough, sometimes you fail, but it's okay. You are going to learn from your mistakes and keep building from it. 
you know, you always think of this fairy godmother, wise person in your head, and think of what they are gonna say. All this master Shifu, all this fairy godmother, they never say mean things to pull themselves down. So I want you to always think of your fairy godmother and think of the positive things that she's able to tell you to boost you up to make you feel good. They could be some really good positive statement. The fairy godmother might be telling you that Oh no no my girl, you are a beautiful person and I want you to believe that inside out you are beautiful and you can do great things in this world. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how I see my fairy godmother. She talks to me all the time. I know it sounds really crazy again. I have all these crazy ideas but I mean if it works, it works, right? And the third weapon that I have for you, it's called I am my best friend. The thing about negative self-talk is we always say pretty mean things about ourselves and that also always happens when we are going through a rough patch in our life or we're going through something hard, especially failure or we just have really negative thoughts coming into our way and we can't, you know, put through it. And that is because we want the best of ourselves. But if you think about it, whenever your friend, your best friend is going through something really hard, do you say even mean things to pull them down? Chances are no, you don't really do that to your best friends. Then why are you doing that to yourself? Whenever you fail, I want you to treat yourself like your best friend and to say constructive, helpful things instead of negative things that is gonna pull you down. Okay, it is really important. I think that a lot of times in life, we are really harsh to ourselves because we just we just treat ourselves as ourselves and not our best friends. And I think that we deserve that love and respect that we give to our best friends. And there you go, the three weapons that I have to help you tackle these enemies, this negative self-talk in your life that is gonna pull you down. This is... Honestly, this is just like a, a fun analogy that I put it into perspective to help you. I personally do have my problems, but like I said, I always try to flip it. I always try to reinforce myself with positive statement. And most importantly, I love myself a lot. I treat myself with love and respect the way that I would give to my best friend, to other people or even a stranger in the world. I hope this helps you. I really want the best of you and to me, ditching all this negative self-talk really helps me a lot in getting through tough times in life. Like what just happened to me recently, which is I lost my job and things were really hard on me. I mean, although, although I lost my job because my company had to lay me off because of financial issues, it does come to myself, like I do question myself, like am I really that bad in my job? Am I really not worth being kept as an employee? There are a lot of negative self-talks and self-doubts and it's really all this, this positive things, um, this fairy godmother, this perspective flipper and treating myself as my best friend that has helped me through this and honestly, I'm not lying to you. I'm not saying this just because I'm in front of the camera, but I am really excited about what's coming up next for me. It's, I know it's, I'm just putting this like all towards myself and making this pretty personal, but it's true. I feel like anything that happens in life, they might happen for a reason and it depends on how you choose to see it and how you choose to fight your negative self-talk to keep moving on in life. And yeah, I hope these three tips, these three weapons are going to help you in the game of your life and you are going to have more fun just fighting through all this negative self-talk. And that's my video for today. If you do enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if it's the kind of content that you like. It will mean a lot to me if you subscribe or share this video with your friends. And comment below on what you think about all these three weapons or what other contents that you would like coming up. I will see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah! 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 Bye!